Hey, what's going on guys? Well, if you saw my video on stink bombs, I was talking about fart bags or fart bombs. And uh, in that video I said I was going to go ahead and order some, and I did. And they just came in the mail. So these are from uh, Amazon. It was 10 bucks for a big pack of 72 of these things. These are fart bombs, and uh, I want to do a separate video on these. Of course, in that first video I was talking about doing these with my niece, which I think will be a blast, and that's what I'm going to uh, save most of these for. So let's talk about it here. So these were 10 bucks for, there's 72 in here, but shipping was like $6.95, I think, so it's $17, and I did the math, it works out to be roughly 23 cents a piece, which is reasonable, I suppose. So let's look at the, uh, the artwork on here. That's uh, quite interesting. We see a, uh, a troubled little boy pulling his pants down and farting. Why does he have a band-aid on his butt? I don't know what that's about, but uh, yeah, fart bags, fart bomb. Boom, what do you think that? Boom. All right, so uh, let's read the uh, instructions on here. Do not tear this package. Uh, break the small water bag inside the package by pressing softly. The package will inflate uh, by air, uh, explode, and a disgusting smell will be exhaled. Not to ingest. Okay, well, there's a whole bunch of other reading on there and instructions, but these Mylar bags make it almost impossible to read through my viewfinder. So it's really simple. You can feel a little bulge in here. I'm actually going to cut one open before we, we do this so I can show you what's inside. But you pop the little bag inside, mixes with the powder, starts to inflate, and then explodes. All right, so let's, uh, let's cut one of these open. Today's EDC. All right, let's see what... Uh, What's going on inside here? Okay. So what we have, we've got the contents out here. So you can see there's some powder in there. And then there's this little, oof, that stinks. Ah, oof. Damn, that stinks. Okay, well, it smells like rotten eggs. And then we have this little pouch. Okay, which we know is filled with our vinegar. So when we squeeze this, hopefully I don't squeeze this on the camera. There we go. It pops, mixes with that. Fizzes up, creates gas, which stinks. Whoa, man, that stinks. But obviously when it was in the bag, whew, <laughs> I shouldn't have done this inside. Um, it uh, fills up the bag and pops and releases the smell. It's pretty damn strong. So let's uh, let's take another one of these bags. Let's, let's grab a handful of them and let's go outside and see what they look like. All right, so I got a few of them out here. Let's uh, give these a shot. All right. Yeah, it's puffing up. Suspenseful. Hmm. There we go. Boom, just like it says. Pretty uh, audible pop. Whew, and it stinks, it definitely stinks. Uh, wow, it does stink. I don't remember them smelling all that bad. It smells, it smells uh, as bad as the vials, but not nearly as strong, if that makes sense. Same smell, probably same chemical. But anyway, oh, that one was a dud. I squeezed that, it shot all over my legs and all over the tripod. Fantastic. <laughs> Give another shot. Oh, that one was a dud too. That shot right at the top. Damn. Oh, this seems good. That one's gonna blow. Maybe. Come on now. Pop already. I hear it fizzling in there. Sometimes, if I remember, back in the day when we did these, we had to kind of shake them up because the powder in there has to mix up. There we go. A little delayed, but at least it popped. All right, so shake it up really good. You have a much more uh, or better success rate when you shake them. All right, last one. There we go. 
All right, so I highly recommend shaking them, and this way they're, they're all going to pop fine. Although I did have two that were duds. I mean, when I squeezed it, the bag inside burst with enough pressure to tear the bag outside a little bit. So never was able to fill up with those gases, but it definitely stinks. After popping uh, five or six of those, it really stinks over here. So they are effective, uh, and they can be a lot of fun for kids. So there you go, guys. Fart bombs are definitely fun. Hopefully my niece gets a kick out of these. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care.